stand by. Okay, I need to admit, I added those sound effects in there. There was no gunfire at the border today, but damn, I think there should have been. Okay, welcome to Mokadon is Right. I am Mokadon back at you, and today we had some crazy stuff at the El Paso border. Now, this is not a legitimate border crossing. So these are people trying to illegally force their way into the country past our National Guard, even fighting with our National Guard. One was arrested for actually uh, assaulting National Guard. 700 were taken into custody by Border Patrol. Joe Biden will just be releasing them into the United States. It's, it's pathetic where we've gotten to as a country. We need to rise up and do something about this. Thank God soon we'll have Donald Trump back in office. He will fix the problem. But if something should happen and that doesn't happen, then I think uh, we could be looking at some very serious issues in this country, some very serious Civil War-esque issues. So here's a clip with Megyn Kelly, Tim Pool, and and the, the, the scene from uh, the fighting with the border crossing, uh, really terrible stuff. I don't, they have M4s for a reason. I don't know why they can't use those M4s. I would have used an M4. We could have put down two or three of them. The rest of them would have scattered like hell. Anyway, enjoy the clip. If you zoom out, the bigger picture is, it feels it feels a little civil worry. <laughs> like 25 states saying to the federal government, this is where we hold the line. It's a no, you, you will not allow this invasion to go on any longer. We've had it with you. And if Biden, because he's under pressure from the left to try to get these states in hand, right? And if he bows, mm -hmm. and like you said, sends agents down there to cut down these fences and to take on the National Guard that's now being sent, not just from Texas, Oklahoma, perhaps some of these other states will do it too. I don't, it could get just, it's like a powder keg. long time uh, and it's putting even more pressure on the states to do anything. I mean, this is happening at Texas because Texas is fighting back. We should look at what's happening in New Mexico, California, Arizona, where this, they're, they're governed by Democratic governors who would not say go to the border and defend it. They'd say just let them in. Seems crazy to me. Well, it's it's definitely going to get worse in the short term because, you know, over the winter, immigration always slows down. And this is the first of the spring surge, as they call it. So it's only going to get worse. And who knows, next time it may be a thousand, maybe 10,000 people uh, trying to cross. And, you know, it's it's tough because the guards themselves, they know what would happen if they actually fought back in a real way, if they actually use the guns that they're holding. It's like they both know that nothing's going to happen. The migrants know they're not going to be stopped. And the guardsmen know if they actually open fire on people literally attacking and storming our border, they're going to be crucified by the Biden administration. Fox News, February 3rd, 2024, Republican bill would give National Guard lethal force powers to repel armed invaders at border. So this is specifically uh, several photos have come out showing that some of these individuals, look, the cartels are running these human trafficking operations. And so they have rifles. Numerous videos show this. A Republican bill, I'm assuming you may be correct in it, died, this is over a month ago, probably died in committee. But this is where things get, um, these are getting dangerous and scary. I mean, I shouldn't say getting, we're here. We, 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 are, we are off the edge, the precipice, not. Nah, we've gone right over it. My friends, we are already at the point where we know millions of non-citizens have stormed through the border. The Biden administration has done nothing. You've got squatters taking over homes. The police are siding with the squatters. You've got from an invasion now to armed groups leading human trafficking operations and a wave of men. These are all men wearing gloves and glasses and masks to protect their identities. And they're attacking National Guard. Setting fire. Look, let me, let me let me pull up some of these photos. We have this from the Daily Mail. They're setting fire to our barricades. Setting fire. This is 
an attack from outside the country on the borders of this country. Any sane, normal nation deploys its military to protect its border from an outside force, destroying its barricades, seeking to break its way into the country in violation of that country's laws. We currently have only the Texas National Guard doing anything about it. And even they are just standing there as they get attacked and they do nothing. Well, and Tim Poole is exactly right. The uh, National Guard is standing there and they do nothing, even though they have their M4s. And the reason they do nothing is because the Biden administration would throw them in jail and the Civil War would start right there that moment. There will come a time and, and you know, there are 25 states that are supporting Texas so that's half the states in the union and I'm a little bit less than half the population. If they want this war, if they keep this up, they're going to have it. The American people are holding their powder until November. And God help you if we don't have an honest election in November. And God help you if something bad happens to President Trump. I'm telling you right now, the American people have had their fill of being lied to and being abused by their government, and they are not going along with this one world WEF agenda. It ain't happening here in the United States, folks. So stay tuned. We're going to talk a little more about that in another video tonight. Just a short video to entertain you. Please, God bless, and like, comment, and subscribe. We desperately need you to subscribe because we're a new channel, and subscribers are everything to us. So like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much, and you have a fantastic evening. Tutor ready, stand by.